Congressman Bill Johnson, the Ohio uh, Republican congressman, is concerned about where this just might go if they don't get anything done, particularly when it comes to vital aid. Uh, congressman, great to have you. Where do you think things stand, first off, on the Israeli aid portion, of course? Uh, Mike Johnson, the, the, no relation I know, uh, the, the speaker is very keen on getting that through, did pass the House, but apparently it's a dead end in the Senate. Um, they want to combine it with aid for Ukraine. I know you're open to that, but where does this whole thing stand? Well, I, I can tell you that uh, we've already passed it. As you noted, it's in the Senate. If the president and Chuck Schumer are really serious about standing strongly with our friend and ally in Israel, they'll take that package up and they'll pass it. Because lumping all of this together, you're talking about four separate issues. Border security. Uh, we've already given the president lots of money for border security. The problem with border security is the policy, not the money. So that's a different subject. Funding for Ukraine. We've asked the president for a strategy, for transparency, for oversight, for the money that we're sending. We want to help Ukraine, and we agree with that. So if the president would get us what we've asked for, we could solve that problem. Taiwan, we know that China is watching, uh, but they're watching what President Biden does a lot more than what they're watching what we do, because that's where they see the perceived weaknesses. Right now, they need to move the Israel package. All right. Now, if they don't, and it's anyone's guess, it just is a reminder of how difficult it will be. To get a lot of this done before the prospect of a possible government shutdown, maybe I guess in a little as a couple of weeks. Are you worried about that, Congressman? Well, I'm concerned about it. Yes, we shouldn't be in this position in the first place. We should have gotten our appropriation bills done. The Senate should have gotten theirs done, as it was just pointed out. We've gotten the majority of ours done in the House. Uh, the Senate has barely scratched the surface. So uh, they can't be talking on the other end of the Capitol about who should do what. They should get to work doing what their job is. Uh, but, yes, I'm concerned about the CR. Uh, you know, it, it's going to expire on the 17th uh, under the 72-hour rule here in the House. Uh, it's it's therefore unlikely, since it's not going to be posted today, that we'll be voting on another CR uh, this week. It will probably be next week. And there are differing ideas about what we do. Maybe a CR combined with border security, HR2, maybe a clean CR, maybe even a tiered CR has been suggested where we extend it uh, a little bit at a time for each of the agencies and, and give our appropriations process a little bit more time to work. So there's a, we'll find out more tomorrow when we go into conference, when we have an open discussion about this. I wonder if the speaker is aware of the kind of deal that might have brought down his predecessor, Kevin McCarthy, in trying to reach out to Democrats to keep those government lights on. Do you get a sense, Congressman, yourself, that that is not an option for him or for your Republican colleagues? Well, nobody wants to shut the government down. Remember, we didn't shut it down before, Neil, right, when everybody right. thought we were going to. That's not the objective of the Republican conference. We want to do the responsible thing, but we also have a responsibility to use the American taxpayer dollars the right way. And just because the president backs himself into a corner and has a border crisis, uh, he can't use that as leverage to force us to do things that are fiscally irresponsible. So does that include the risk of, I say the risk, sir, of, of the speaker working with Democrats to do something, cobble together a, a mutually agreed package of allowances, extensions, tiered uh, program, uh, you know, extensions, um, that, would that endanger him with conservatives? Well, I, I think we've demonstrated that we're willing to find bipartisan solutions. I think most of our appropriations uh, if not all of them have been bipartisan. So I, I think we can do that. And, and I think the speaker is open to that. You heard okay. his acceptance speech when he uh, when he spoke directly to minority leader Hakeem Jeffries and said, look, I think you love the country uh, and, and I'm going to look to find common ground with you. So the door is open uh, for the House to do the right thing and to be fiscally responsible. Well, we'll watch it closely, Congressman. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Have a great day.